hollers and hills of West Virginia. It's Heaven Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay tuned. Boom! Let's carry on, though. I just, I mean, it, it, it's just, if I could convince you guys, if I can just convince, you know, 5% of people who watch this that these guys have got this stuff down, I mean, I would have 5% of growers seeing this year the results in their patch and then being like, oh man, you know, this stuff really works and you guys would be telling about it, right? Um, so anyways, foliar fertilizer applications immediately intensify the plant's need for water, thus stimulating transpiration. The pumping system of the plant uh, consistently, uh, or consequently, excuse me, uh, root uptake of both water and mineral nutrients is improved, okay? Let me say that again. Go back up to the top, less than two hours after application, 80%, I just can't get over that, 80% of the applied mineral nutrients are systemically absorbed into the plant. Foliar fertilizer applications immediately intensify the plant's need for water, thus stimulating transpiration, the pumping system of the plant, okay? Consequently, root uptake of both water and mineral nutrients is improved. Nutri nu excuse me, nutritional blends formulated with hydro or hydro wick technology stimulate desirable physiological responses such as enhanced bloom induction along with better fruit and size. What more could you ask for? They just told you. Nutritional blends formulated with high grow wick technology stimulate desirable physiological responses such as enhanced bloom induction along with better fruit and size what are we growing for guys what are giant growers growing for we're growing for size we want size size matters in this competition and in this growing right we want big we want a bigger tomato. We want a bigger pumpkin, a bigger maro, a bigger rutabaga, a beet, a sunflower, a carrot. You name it, we want it, and we want it big, right? They're telling you, you use this stuff, you're going to get big because our stuff increases the size, all right? Um, so, Hagro Wick Technology provides the assurance of consistent, reliable uptake, safer uptake, more with less. All right, guys? So think about it this way. Not only are you going to basically be guaranteed bigger stuff, okay, but you're also going to be doing it with less. You're going to be doing more with less with their products. All right? Here's the biggest kicker. What are all of us talking about all the time? We're talking about the soils, we're talking about the environment, we're talking about this, we're talking about that. And what can we do to change this? What can we do to change that? If we buy this stuff, we're doing something by doing it. Why? Because this stuff is safe and reliable, okay? It's safe to put in our ground. It's safe that if it runs off, it's not hurting anything in the soil or in the water when it gets to the groundwater level, right? This stuff is safe and it's beneficial to our soil. It's not going to hurt our soil. It's not going to hurt our mycorrhizas. It's not going to hurt any of our uh, organic material inside there, the organisms that's living within. We, what, what more could you want from a fertilizer that, you know, or a company that's guaranteeing this stuff and guaranteeing that it works and it's not going to be harmful to your stuff later on down the road, okay? <clears throat> so... That is the Hydro Wick technology. Now let's move on to uh, to this one. Now this is the Opulent Blend Copper and Opulent Blend Zinc Trial. Okay, now this is what they've just sent me today. As they send me stuff, I'll do more videos on it, but we got this book right now. We'll go over it as well. But uh, Opulent Blend Copper and Opulent Blend Zinc. Opulent Blend and Prevagenics are pretty much one of the same. Opulent Blends is the sister company to the uh the prevagenics company guys so if you're buying one you're buying from both okay um opulent opulent blend copper and opulent blend zinc uh trials here is a trial that was conducted by the university of florida agricultural i 
F-A-S. It shows opulent because they're located, these guys are located in Florida. In fact, the uh, the guy that runs it, um, I just sent him, he, he's a, he's a uh, citrus grower, okay? And he just got kind of hit with all this frost and stuff down there. And uh, he requested that I send him some seeds, you know, tomatoes and pumpkins and stuff from the giants that I have. And I sent him some down there and he's gonna be trying to grow those and try to grow him a state record, uh, hopefully before it gets too hot. But um, they're down there in Florida. So the, 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 Univor the University of Florida Agricultural Department uh, is the one that did this study to do, a, I guess, a lot of their studies there for them. And, uh, and it shows opulent copper compared to other copper products and opulent zinc compared to other uh, zinc products. As you can see, the uptake of our products is significantly better, okay? So um, the, I, the IFAS research trials uh, right here, okay, show that the, uh, the, the treatment um, of the uh, opulent copper, opulent sulfate, and, or uh, excuse me, opulent copper, that's what it is, opulent copper, parts per million in the leaf uh, for uh, opulent copper, is 235.8 copper sulfate that's number two on the list copper sulfate which a lot of us use okay we'll use copper sulfate copper sulfate was 173.9 uh copper hydroxide 87.4 and control average 10.6 so you can see opulent blends by far exceeds the copper sulfate, the copper hydroxide, and the controlled average. Guys, if somebody comes up to you and says, I got opulent blends, copper, I've got copper sulfate. Which one do you want when you're talking about copper? We just talked about it, it was, it was in two hours was 80% mineralized into the leaf, right? Into the, into the plant, right? And it's 235.8 parts per million in the leaf versus copper sulfate at 173.9. Guys, it speaks for itself. I'm going with the opulent blends copper when I need that because it's higher, okay? And some of you probably, oh, well, it's just a little bit higher. Let me tell you something. You want to do competition and you really want to get ahead of everybody, okay? You, this is how I see things. So you can go with the old and continue to go with the old and hope for the good year, hope for the good weather, hope for the good rain, all these things and continue using the old fertilizers. Or you can go to something like opulent blends and prevagenics and you can hope for the rain, hope for the weather and all that, okay? Because we need to, we need to pray for all that and use a superior product and not have to worry about it, right? So we can still pray for the rain and all that stuff, but we're, we're getting better results, okay? So while we might not end up getting good rain or we might not end up getting good weather, as long as we've got a good fertilizer, we can have a, a crappy year for growing, but the good fertilizer can help us still achieve decent goals, decent grows, right? Whereas if we're using the same old fertilizer, it might not do anything. And plus, some of this fertilizer is hurting your ground, and you just continue to throw it on there. I mean, so I mean, it is what it is. Um, and some people I know, I'm not going to be able to convince. I'm not going to be able to, you know, convince them that this is probably a, a better way to do it. But and that's okay. But I hope that this year, when I use it and I, I use it on my stuff, and I and y'all see what I can grow with it, I'm hoping that it changes some of y'all's minds and ways of thinking and you're like, ah, maybe I should use a little bit of that. All right, um, the treatment for opulent zinc, excuse me, is uh, 292 parts per million in the leaf, 292 parts per million in the leaf. Zinc sulfate is 186, so it's 100 more than the highest, okay? 100, over 100 more than the highest um you're fine over 100 more than the highest um, zinc so zinc sulfate is 186 opulent zinc is 292 
Zinc hydroxide is 84 and controlled average is 38. All right, so you got 292, 186, 84, and 38. So, I mean, it, it speaks for itself, guys. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's that much better. Uh, all plots were treated with the same uh, metallic nutrient concentrations, but from different sources. These trials was performed uh, to determine the importance of solubility of comparable sources. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Prevagenics note is these above noted trials reflect the uptake rate of Prevagenics products, zinc and copper. All right. So um, that is with the zinc and the copper. Like I said, as they send me more stuff, I'll get in to, uh, to more of it. Um, but for now, let's go over some of this stuff here in, in their book. All right, now this is some of their products. And um, we're going to start here with the Almighty Iron. All right, Almighty Iron. Okay. And um, Almighty Iron is 12% uh, amino acid complex iron. Um, it is a commercial grade liquid iron fertilizer developed to translocate systemically. Almighty Iron uh, moves internally throughout the plant, allowing for quick uptake and correction of deficiencies. Complex with amino acids, uh, it's, uh, it is EDTA free and uh, free of harsh impurities. Uh, again, why would we want to use this, right? It's, it's free of bad things for our soil. Um, it's derived from uh, uh, iron to plants, or excuse me, uh, it delivers iron to uh, plants, uh, lawns, while also supplying plants with amino acids. Improves uh, chlorophyll formation, assists in oxygen movement in the plants and lawn. Uh, will quickly correct pale green or yellowing of uh, leaves in iron deficiency is, or if iron deficiency is present. Uh, it's suitable for all plants, makes up to 100 gallons, and uh, it's one 16 ounce fluid bottle can treat up to uh, 100,000 square feet. Commercial grade now available to the consumer in a 16 ounce fluid bottle, fluid ounce bottle. All right, and uh, it's guaranteed analysis iron of 12%. All right, guys, and, uh, and you can apply it um, one to two times per month as needed. Vegetable foliar spray is a point, or 0 0.16, uh, a one teaspoon uh, per gallon in a fine mist. Trees are uh, two teaspoons for uh, a gallon. Lawns are one teaspoon per gallon. Spray weekly as needed for the lawns. All right, um, cow boron. Your cow boron right here. And um, cow boron is 6% calcium and 0.25% boron. A cow boron is a calcium and boron liquid fertilizer used to correct common calcium and boron deficiencies. Calcium and boron work synergistically to enhance cell wall formation and growth. It improves formation of, uh, of, uh, and growth of cell walls, aids in the uniform development of shoots and leaves and flowers, contributes to disease resistance, assists in preventing fruit splitting and poor shelf life. Um, what do we always have a problem with when we're growing giant pumpkins, guys? One of our biggest problems that we have, right, is the splitting, right? The blossom end split, that dreaded blossom end split, or in my case, like last year, the dreaded stem end split, right? I mean, just want to split right up the stem, up the shoulders and into the pumpkin, right? This right here prevents or assists in preventing fruit splitting and poor shelf life. What's another problem we have? We have problems with our pumpkins sitting out there on the vine waiting to go to the uh, layoffs, right? Now, old, old girl might not have grew much, uh, you know, in, in measurable size, right? Maybe two, three weeks before the layoff, right? So we don't know if she's growing internally and we don't know if she's just sitting there not doing anything, okay? we do. She could be losing weight for two to three weeks, right? But if we're using this stuff, it helps to it helps to assist in a poor shelf life. So maybe last year, if I would have been using this stuff, maybe I wouldn't have lost my big pumpkin that was probably you know 25% heavy. 
Okay, maybe I wouldn't have lost that pumpkin had I been using this stuff. Maybe she wouldn't have rotted. Maybe she could have sat there and lasted that extra week or so, right? I'll never know. But if I'm using this stuff, I'll, I'll know if then, right? I'll know if it was a mistake I made or it was just the fruit just couldn't handle it, right? Maybe, you know, because sometimes the fruit just get done growing and they're like, hey, throw it in a towel, boss. We're done, all right? And we need that. We need that another week or two, sometimes three before the way off that we want to take it to um, comes around. We, we kind of want to wait for that one. And instead of taking it early to another one, we'd rather just wait. And sometimes in the waiting, that's when we, that's when we fall off and get messed up, right? So we want to, uh, we want to make sure that we got a good shelf life. And this right here can help with both of those fruit splitting and shelf life. Uh, it improves transport of carbohydrates. We need that. May uh, be used to repair damaged plant tissues. I wonder if that would have helped this year uh, repair all those damaged leaf stems that I had on that uh, 1209 Hodge. I wonder if that would have helped. And maybe it would have been, maybe it would have broke 1,100 pounds, right? Never know, but this stuff can help. This stuff says it may be used for that. Uh, guaranteed analysis is 4% nitrogen, 6% calcium, and 0.25% boron. Directions are the same for all stages of growth and should be applied every two weeks. Vegetables and flowering plants are two tablespoons per gallon. Spray fine mist. Trees are uh, two and a half tablespoons per gallon for a tree. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna skip that one because we don't got no daggone, uh, we don't have pecan trees. It's, uh, well, it's a foliar pecan juice is what they call it. And uh, it's a liquid fertilizer blend of zinc, nickel, manganese, and iron. Designed specifically for pecan trees. This fertilizer provides pecan trees with the perfect mix of uh, beneficial nutrients for tree growth and production. The right balance of micronutrients is directly related to the yield and quality of the pecan. That's why we have developed pe foliar pecan juice to feed the tree and the nutrient, or excuse me, to feed the tree the nutrients it needs. So uh, pecans are heavy users of zinc, but also use a significant amount of nickel, manganese, and iron. So uh, there's that. If you're if you're interested about pecan juice, well, let me know. You need so if you uh, if you want to talk more about it. So uh, here's the general purpose garden oil. Prevagenics general purpose garden oil is a safe and natural food grade quality citrus infused mineral oil to use uh, to control pests, okay? To control pests. What do we have a problem with as giant growers? Cute beetles, squash fly borers, things of that nature, right? Got all kinds of pests want to chew around on our, uh, the, the, out there in my garden this year. You know, in the bean garden, we had them, them Mexican bean beetles, right? So, uh, this stuff here is uh, can be used on plants such as vegetables, fruits, and shrubs, trees. Controls piercing, sucking, and chewing disease causing effect, or excuse me, causing insects such as mites, uh, psyllids, white flies, etc. Effective on powdery mildew, rust, and more. Uh, suitable uh, for fruit and nut trees, berries, vegetables, grasses, and ornamentals. Actively protects the plant. Citrus infused mineral oil environmentally safe and safe around pets and humans guys if there's one thing that i hate using it, it, it it's 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 the bad stuff right um i know there's sometimes there's just no way around it but when they start talking about cancer there's no pumpkin plant or pumpkin size really worth me dying or getting a cancer right um that's one of the scariest things in life is to hear you got the C word, right? You got that horrible C word. And when you use Eagle 20, you're taking a chance every time you use Eagle 20 for powdery mildew, you're taking a chance on getting cancer down the road. Every time that you crack open a, 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 a packet or a bottle of imidacloprid, okay, uh, you're taking a chance of getting cancer later down, down the road. And you can wear masks you can wear gloves, you can wear shirts, plumb up to your daggone, you know, uh, hands and, and cover your feet and every other thing, all right? Fact of the matter is, that stuff sticks to the leaves, 
all right? And then we go brushing around and touching on them leaves the next day. You guys think that that didn't, you know, and, and we can wash it off. Still in the soil, we get down there and we touch the soil. There's no getting around it. If we use that stuff, even though I do, I use it, I use it, but I use it sparingly. I wait until I just ain't got no other option, but ah, man, it's got to use it, you know what I mean? And I try my best not to, and I try to stay as far away from it as I can and make sure that I just get out of the area and away from it after it's spray. I don't want nothing to do with it, right? Um, but that's just the facts, guys. The more we use it, the more we're taking chances on getting cancer. And I'm sorry, I want to be here to see my great-grandkids and my great-great-grandkids, all right? Um, I want to live as long as life as possible unless this old world just gets so stinking bad. It's getting there, but it ain't there yet. But if it just gets so stinking bad, I just can't handle it no more. And I just say, hey, God, go ahead and call me on home. I'm tired of living down here. All right, but for now, old Ryan ain't done living, and uh, yeah, it sounds like old general purpose garden oil might help me save uh, save myself and, and maybe allow me to stay away from those uh, those other things. Now, I don't know, okay, I've not used it, but if these guys are standing behind it like that, and they have, they live in the south, they got all kinds of issues with bugs and diseases and stuff. They're, they're saying that it's going to help with uh, control, piercing, sucking, and chewing diseases, um, causing insects such as mites, syphilis, or psyllids, uh, white flies, etc., and it's effective on powdery mildew and rust and more. Then I want to use it. I want to use this uh, garden purpose or general purpose garden oil. Okay, uh, the the propriet the proprietary. Crop oil is 90%, and inert ingredients are 10%, and uh, you can uh, apply one ounce of general purpose garden oil in one gallon of water and spray as a fine mist every 10 to 15 days. All right, and like I said, it's environmentally safe for you, your kids, and your pets. All right, so old, old Valkyrie, if you got one of them, can't go out there chewing on a leaf one day and, and get sick off of it, you know. So uh, that's a good thing. Save you on the vet bills and save them on their life too, right? Um, so the next thing we got here is grass spot green up. Now they sent me some of this and I have used it on some of my plants for a nitrogen, okay? Now I am working with them on getting some other things, guys. It's not, things don't happen overnight. So I'm working, like I said, you know, humic and fulvics, trying to work on some, uh, some, some you know, cat, uh, calcium nitrate, uh, and some other things like that so that, that uh, we have it. But this right here is what they sent me, and it is a 12-3-6, 12, 12 for the nitrogen, 3 for the phosphorus, 6 for the potassium. Uh, it's formulated to correct the yellowing areas in green yards that uh, can sometimes be mistaken for iron pleurosis, meaning no iron. Uh, it's a quick-release fertilizer. Nutrients are immediately available on uh, to the plant upon irrigation or rainfall, quickly stimulates roots or excuse me, quickly stimulates shoot growth and greening. Uh, use early spring to boost your trees and recover from a hard winter climate. Great for newly established lawns. For added boost to green up your lawns, use as gr gr use grass spot green up with opulent blends Almighty Iron can also be used on turf. It's in a resealable bag. Again, nitrogen is 12%, phosphorus is 3%, potassium is 6%, and this has 18% phosphorus in it right here. And you can get it in a uh, eight ounce bag, one pound bag, or a five pound bag, all right? Again, that's eight ounces, one pound, and five pound. Uh, apply at a rate of one pound per 160 square feet. Water immediately after application. For small spots, sprinkle the equivalent of one ounce, two tablespoons per square foot, and water in immediately. So this is KCAL. Uh, KCAL is a liquid fertilizer blend of potassium and calcium. Uh, it is specifically formulated to increase the plant's yield and quality, uh, as well as significantly improve the plant's absorption of nitrogen. Um, 
by using uh, Prevagenix Cacao, your plant will be healthier and will uh, have better fruit and flower quality. Uh, increase the mobility of water and nutrients, significantly improves plant absorption of nitrogen, enhances photosynthesis, improves root growth of hydroponic plants, uh, enriches plants' ab ability to uh, survive environmental stresses, uh, and uh, most effective when used in early spring or late fall, uh, but may be used during any stage growth. So it's got 5% in nitrogen, 5% in potassium, and 5% in calcium. And the directions to apply is mix 0.5 fluid ounces, 15 milliliters of cacao into one gallon of water, spray fine mist for best results, apply once every two weeks. Trees is uh, 30 milliliters uh, to a gallon and, and spray every two weeks. And it's called cacao. All right, so we got uh, some liquid essentials, uh, or excuse me, liquid citrus essentials. Liquid citrus essentials is a uh, liquid fertilizer blend of magnesium, copper, manganese, and zinc. Designed specifically for citrus trees, this fertilizer provides citrus trees with the perfect mix of beneficial nutrients for tree growth and production. The right balance of micronutrients is directly related to the yield and quality of citrus. That's why we have developed the liquid citrus essentials to uh, feed the tree and the nutrients it needs. Complex with amino acids, liquid citrus uh, essentials is ET, EDTA free and free of harsh impurities. Prevent and correct micronutrient deficiencies with liquid citrus essentials. Increases tree growth and vigor. Aids in fruit scent. Provides the tree uh, the uh, nutritional health during the period of uh, nutrient damage or excuse me, nutrient demand. Um, after being applied to the leaves, liquid citrus uh, moves throughout the tree, including the roots, and uh, is developed for quick absorption into the tree. It's 3.5% magnesium, 1.6% copper, 2.1% manganese, and 2.1% zinc. You can apply this every 14 days, uh, and apply early morning or on overcast days. All right, you can apply it to the young trees at 1.5 tablespoons per gallon and mature trees at 2.5 tablespoons per gallon. Spray a fine mist on them all. And you could probably use that for plants uh, as well, not just trees. You'd probably find a, a good, it's probably a good balance right there to use, you know, a little bit here and there on your on your plants, right? If you don't want to use specific, you know, ones, you want to get a, like an all-in-one, you could use that. Next is the uh, liquid compost mobile uh, microbes and enhanced nutrient uptake. I've been using this all winter. It seems like a really good product. I've also been putting it on my uh, compost. Okay, because you can use it for a compost starter. I've been doing real good out there with that, and we like it so far. So this is liquid compost. It contains mobile microbes, trace minerals, and vitamins, which help with uh, nutrient uptake and soil structure. Mobile microbes move throughout the uh, soil to allow healthy growth of plants, trees, and lawns. It enhances nutrient uptake, applying liquid compost aids in aeration and conservation of water with trace minerals and vitamins which uh, enhances nutrient uptake and allows plants trees and lawns to look their best healthy soil food local compost is able to provide proper support uh, proper support to achieve a healthy soil with the addition of worm tea bacteria and fungi is added to uh, the soil to improve soil structure Ingredients is worm tea, aerobic microbes, um, trace amounts of copper, zinc, manganese, magnesium, calcium, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, iron, boron, sulfur, molybdenum, amino acids, carbohydrates, and vitamins. You can uh, apply this one to t at one uh, to uh, two weeks, and um, you mix a fluid ounce, one ounce of uh, per water uh, and if you're going to do it for a compost starter you mix four ounces to one gallon of water and it's uh, again to feed it to your uh, plants and stuff it's one gallon or excuse me one ounce per gallon to feed it to your plants uh, they have a 1648 or excuse me 16 4 and 8 uh, lawn fertilizer it's uh, it's a liquid Prevagenix 16-4-8 liquid lawn fertilizer 
Balanced fertilizer designed to green up the lawn. Is a, it, uh, this blend is high in nitrogen and includes 0.25% iron. Great maintenance fertilizer to keep up your lawn. Looking lush and healthy. Helps wake up the lawn after winter. Beneficial for uh, use once ground starts warming up. Balanced lawn fertilizer to create a lush green, uh, green up. Allows proper root development and strengthening. Allows for translocation of essential nutrients developed using amino acids and is free of harsh impurities, EDTA free. Um, and a 32 ounce bottle will cover up to 10,000 square feet. And it's 16% again on nitrogen, 4% phosphorus, 8% in potassium, and 0.25% in the uh, iron. You can apply this uh, early spring through late fall and allow 30 to 45 days between application. Um, and it also says you can apply it throughout the year if you want. And it is a foliar app of three to five ounces per gallon of water. Microgenics 0.75 amino acid complex micro, macro and micronutrients. My, Microgenics is a liquid multi-nutritional multi-purpose fertilizer blended to maintain healthy plants. Quick supplies uh, and abundance of essential nutrients to plants complex with amino acids this blend is edta free and free of harsh impurities allows plants to grow to the fullest potential without deficiencies plants uh, feeds plants a well-balanced diet to maintain health we uh, have made the uh, measures easy for you simply squeeze the bottle to fill the measuring chamber to the amount guaranteed analysis is 70 0.75 percent on all these 0.75% on mangan manganese, magnesium, calcium, zinc, copper, boron, nickel, and iron. You can apply 15 milliliters per gallon of water to plants and uh, 30 milliliters per gallon to trees. MKP, pure monopotassium sulfate. So MKP is a dry water soluble phosphorus and potassium fertilizer with a guaranteed analysis of 05234. It is nitrogen free and is ideal for use when high rates of phosphorus and potassium are needed. Water soluble phosphorus and potassium can be used dry or dissolved in water, uh, transports uh, water and nutrients, improves drought resistance, mm, improves drought resistance, uh, increases seed production uh, apply prior to bloom to give roots added strength uh, well right after we get them plants big what do we need to do next we need to work on their roots right because the roots is what draws up all them nutrients and water and our pumpkins right so this is great for that uh, let's see uh, da, 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 da. apply prior to bloom to give roots added strength needed during a stressful reproductive period. Significantly increases size of flower and bud. Uh, use early when establishing the root system. Apply to grass, shrubs, or trees during dormant periods. Guaranteed analysis. Available phosphate, 52%. Soluble potash, 34%. You can uh, mix one half cup of water, or excuse me, one or half ounce of MKP per gallon of water. Stir or shake until dissolved. Um, that's for a foliar application. Soil applications is mix one pound of MKP in one gallon of water, stir until uh, and shake until dissolved. Uh, and it covers 1,000 square feet per pound. All right. Do not use with basic metal sulfates, strongly alkaline materials such as hydrated lime and lime sulfur or sprays oils. Mobile cow mag. Dun, da, 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 da. What is that? What is it? Is that me? Is that me? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's probably annoying. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, Mo Mobile Cow Mag is a liquid fertilizer formulated to quickly correct calcium and magnesium deficiencies in plants and trees, developed using amino acids, and is EDTA free. 
aids in the uniform development of shoots, leaves, budding, fruiting, and flowering. Strengthens cell walls, contributes to disease resistance, prevents fruit splitting, mm. boosts plant chlorophyll production, may be used in all growth stages. Fertilizer was used by Ryan Cook to grow the new world record butternut squash. The uh, nitrogen is 4%, calcium is 4%, magnesium is 4%. Directions are the same for all growth stages. Uh, plants, foliar, apply one flow an ounce per gallon of water. Spray fine mist for best results, apply once every two weeks. I use it a lot more than that. I didn't use it a lot, like as in a lot, right? But I used it more frequently than that. So, and don't y'all do this. Uh, if you do, I'm not telling you to do this, so don't take it as, you gotta do this, to, don't do, no. Um, so when I used it, I used it every day uh, on my butternut. I, I had, you know, some left over, and I used every every day, I sprayed cow mag on my butternut. And I really do contribute that to helping aid that that butternut in, in its growth. Um, had I had the funding and the ability to have sprayed this every day on my pumpkins, I would have. Excuse me. Yeah, I, I would have. I would have done it every every evening at 7 o'clock. Like clockwork, I would have been out there spraying my pumpkins uh, with cow mag if, if I would have had the money uh, to do so. So um, I'm not telling you that you should do it. I don't know your soil. I don't know what else you grow, use, whatever. But I never seen any burnt leaf from it. It never bothered my plant. It only helped. It only helped my plant. And you guys can go back to watch last year's videos and you can see that my pumpkin plants were beautiful. Uh, my, my, my butternut plant was gigantic for a butternut plant. I mean, it, it was probably pushing Man, if you took all that into, into consideration, it was probably pushing 300, 400 square foot, maybe more, you know, probably, maybe, maybe five, maybe five, 600 square foot, somewhere around. I mean, because it had that entire end that we were standing in, right? Where I was talking about the watermelons and stuff. It was all in that, it stretched all the way down past the peach tree and over, I mean, it was just, it was a huge plant. And the other plant that was sitting there beside it didn't get nowhere near that big. And I didn't spray nowhere near the amount of cow mag on that plant. I just didn't. And my pumpkin plants, they were huge as well. I mean, they were gargantuan plants, right? So, um, yeah, it, 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 it's, uh, it is what it is. I mean, it, it, you know, they were, they, they were big plants and, um, I mean, they y'all. Y'all go back and watch the videos for yourself. I mean, cow mag. I think the cow mag speaks for itself. But again, don't do like I done. You do what you do. Don't do what I do, because I don't want nobody calling me up or writing or commenting. I did what you did, and I blew my pan up, or I burnt it, or I blew my pumpkin all to pieces. I don't want that. Um, oh man, I gotta do a drawing. Hang on a minute, guys. All right, guys, had to get out of here for just a minute and uh, do that, but let's get back to it. Real quick, finish this up. It's going to have to go in two parts, so uh, I'm going to have to hurry up so we can finish it and then split it in two and then give you half and then give you half tomorrow or something. I don't know. Uh, anyhow, back to the uh, mobile cow mag. Um, it was really good stuff. Plants, you can fo uh, foliar apply it one ounce uh, per gallon of water, spray in a five mist every, once every uh, two weeks. Foliar application is five ounces per gallon of water for trees, and you can use it every two weeks on there. All right. Mobile Microbes Plus. Now this stuff, guys, is, uh, I've been using this stuff. It seems to be doing pretty good in here. All right, it's uh, right there. I use it. I use it in tandem with my Mycorrhiza and my Azos, all right, which um, they're supposed to be working on that as well, so we'll see. Uh, how that comes along. Um, hopefully there'll be, you know, some of that uh, coming out pretty soon for you guys. But I use it, again, I use it in in use with my 
uh, Azos and my Mycorrhiza. So when I put my Azos and my Mycorrhiza in, I also add the Mobile Microbes Plus. So Mobile Microbes Plus feeds the plants multiple beneficial uh, nutrients with uh, enhanced soil cleanliness, improved flower development, soil structure, and root growth. When used during early growth, Mobile Micro Plus significantly improves the plant's nutrition, strength, and health. Enhances nutrition absorption, increases nitrogen and phosphorus in roots and shoots, increases root to shoot ratio, increases uh, plants drought stress tolerance, improves the quality of the flowers and shrubs, improves the soil structure and increases fertility. Development for plants with fibrous root systems. Or developed for plants with fibrous root systems. Um, the uh, soil amending ingredients are Prevagenix live yeast at 332.5 billion, yes that's billion, CFUs per 100 grams, um, the, uh, and that is Prevagenix live yeast, 332 million, 332.5 million, 332.5 billion with a B, billion with a B, right here, okay? Oh, billion with a B. Alright. Anyhow, 332.5 billion with a B CFUs per 100 grams. It's got lactobacillus species, 20 million CFUs, 20 million CFUs for 100 grams. Uh, hydrolyzed soy protein at 6%, soluble kelp extract at 4%, and soluble molasses powder at 10%. So again, Prevagenix Live Yeast, 332.5 billion with a B, CFUs per 100 grams. Lactobacillus species, 20 million with a M, CFUs per 100 grams. Hydrolyzed soy protein at 6%, soluble kelp extract at 4%, soluble molasses powder at 10%. Available in sizes, four ounces, one pound, and five pounds. You can get a four ounce bag, which is right here. This is a four ounce bag. Or you can get a one pound bag or a five pound bag. Probably well, gonna have to have a five pound bag if you got big patches, right? Like a big old pumpkin patch where you're trying to grow 2,000 plus pound pumpkin. Directions are the same for all stage of growth. Apply once, ground is warm. Apply every two to three months or as needed. We would probably apply it quite a bit more frequently uh, as giant growers. We would probably apply it, you know, once a month or once every two, three weeks, right? Um, soil application is lightly dust one teaspoon of micro, mobile microbes plus on soil surface water thoroughly after application one teaspoon covers one square foot one teaspoon one teaspoon covers one square foot all right all right all right it's dynamite everything's looking good in here okay looking good looking good looking good uh, you know, get a little better look tomorrow at everything I got to come in here and water this evening and stuff once everybody goes to bed, I'll probably be up in here, yeah, one, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning in here, watering my plants and stuff. Look at the little female right there. I'm so proud of that. Can't wait till she gets ready to open up. I'm ready to pollinate that rascal and get a big cucumber growing. Um, so anyhow, guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you tomorrow right here in the Hollers and Hills, West Virginia. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to share. Thank you, good sir. You're welcome. And subscribe.